Attila allowed Wanjis to invade Macedonia. Carefully planned and coordinated with Edicon, the operation is going well. Two Roman armies were also destroyed, the remains of which fled to Athens and Constantinople. Wanjis and Edicon take over 80 towns, fortresses and fortified camps in Macedonia, Thrace and Thessaly. Wanjas engaged in his army many Roman soldiers who surrendered. It is a great pleasure for a former Greek slave become general and minister Hun. In autumn 447, Attila arrives at Arcadiopolis. Begin the reviews and the parades of the troops with the demonstration of the machines created under the direction of Edicon. It is clear to all that the Eastern Roman Empire is defeated. The Roman armies are almost totally destroyed, all the fortresses and towns around Constantinople are taken. In January of this year, a terrible earthquake destroyed part of the wall of the imperial capital. 58 towers are damaged. The breaches are hastily closed, but an enormous panic begins at Constantinople. The inhabitants think that God punishes them for their sins and help to the Huns. In these conditions Asper, the commander-in-chief of the Roman army, after the preliminary negotiations with Orestes, meets the Emperor Theodosius, who has not appeared once during all these years of war on the battlefields. The general explains the situation in detail and advises the Emperor. Our armies are destroyed. We must ask Attila for peace. There is no other solution. Theodosi's answer is significant. Do you think he will accept peace now? Relieved by the Emperor's agreement. Asper sighs. Orestes says that Attila will not attack Constantinople if you ask for peace first. Theodosius rejoices. I completely agree. Send him the parliamentarians. In December of 447, the Patricius Anatolius signers with Attila, on behalf of the Emperor Theodosius. The agreement on the armistice. The joyous Empress Eudoxia was exiled to Palestine. Princess Honoria continued her sad life with the sisters of Theodosius, who had become even more pious during the war years. Having learned of the conclusion of the armistice, which no one hoped, she asks the eunuch Jacinte, her faithful servant. Why did Attila not finish the victory over the Eastern Roman Empire by the capture of Constantinople, when God himself was on his side? Jacinte, who has a lively and broad mind, reflects. Perhaps military success is not the principal element of his conquest. Honorio is surprised. How is it possible? Jacinte explains his thought. It seems to me that Attila is above all a great diplomat. His actions show that he is attached to the lives of his warriors. The diplomat is pleased with the possibility of granting the warriors rest, while watching carefully the actions of the enemy. Why fight when he can get without battles what he needs now? Honoria is a little disappointed. If Attila took Constantinople, she would be in honorific captivity. As his mother, Galla Placidia, had been captured by the Goths after the fall of Rome. Then could start a new life, freer and, perhaps, happy.